Hello everybody, welcome to Astra Keva, I am Ayo. In today's drawing, I will be doing day 148 of my 365 days of art. Um, before I begin talking about today's topic, I just wanted to say, um, help my channel grow by commenting, subscribing, liking and sharing. Um, that will help me um, create more content freely and uh, feel free to check out my patreon if you want to support me draw along with me and get some tutorials as well so let me get that out of the way before i start talking about <clears throat> my topic today so <laughs> in today's drawing i started drawing some characters um especially characters in various scenes um, the main reason why I started doing digital art was to create a webcomic. I've said it so many times. But um, I wanted to talk about my thought process during the entire time. I want, I want to talk about what was going through my mind when I decided to create a webcomic and also um, the steps that I took to that I'm taking right now to make it a reality. So last year, um, I stepped away from a hyper-realistic pencil drawing. So yes, I still enjoy doing hyper-realistic drawings. Um, I do it in my private time and I draw people and all of that. But um, I also write some short stories and I enjoy writing coming up with plot lines, coming up with various storylines. So I th I really wanted to share some stories that I came up with. Um, I don't know how people are going to take this, but I like creating reverse harem. Is that how you say reverse harem? Stories. Um, and um, I've already come up with a lot of them. <laughs> uh, I just can't seem to draw them um, and so when I was writing all these stories I even wrote about 60,000 words for one of them, one of them and it wasn't even halfway through the story <laughs> so I like reading uh, writing long reads and I also like reading long reads um, <clears throat> but that being said um, I sat down and thought and I realized you know comics are just another version of telling a story right just like how you would um just like how you would read a book or how you would listen to music or how you would watch a movie those are just different mediums of telling a story and so I never grew up what reading manga or anything like that but I started reading a lot of Korean webcomics a couple of years ago and so that's kind of why I thought maybe I should just go for it. And so <clears throat> I started on my journey of digital art. But <laughs> I also wanted to better myself as an artist and learn things like anatomy and gestures so my characters can look more lively. Uh, right now, I still don't think I'm at a place where I can draw my characters fully, but I'm slowly getting there. But I want to talk about my mentality during this entire time. I was supposed to start my webcomic this year, um, but the majority comes from a lot of fear. Um, fear of what people might think about me what my family members might think about me what my friends might think about me I'm not necessarily planning on creating some sort of PG 13 version of my webcomic <laughs> I'm I'm quite open-minded to create uh, not safe for work content and also a lot of R18 content for my webcomic so um, there's a lot of fear that comes with it Although I can brave, like say, oh, I'm brave, I can do what I want. There's also these certain fearful sides of me because I'm just a human being and I don't know what people are going to think about me when they see my webcomic. <laughs> is this the type of person she is? Maybe that's what they might say. But anyway, um, 
<clears throat> will I create my webcomic? Yeah, I will. <laughs> I'm thinking and aiming for next year. I don't know if I will start exactly on the 1st of January or something like that. Um, but this is kind of the main reason why I've been studying gesture and studying art and especially when it comes to painting I'm okay I can paint and I can color pretty well because I studied color theory and composition and because of my graphic design but when it comes to doing a lot of when it comes to doing a lot of um, imaginative artwork um, that's kind of where I was stuck and that's kind of where I started studying but anyway so yes um what else should i talk about but anyway majority of what i want to create is reverse harem or i don't know how to say it is it reverse harem <laughs> i don't know how to say it but yeah um i've tried to create storylines with just normal <laughs> with normal like people but <laughs> I, I really can't i i tried it but yeah, that's sort of where I'm leaning towards. I can find those stories more interesting than regular stories, I guess. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm still working towards my webcomic. And um, I'm not in a rush to create it just yet. I mean, I've already created the storylines and the plot lines and characters and um, everything. But I'm not in a rush to create it. Um, and upload it just yet but yeah that is what I wanted to talk about in today's video um, in my mind I'm going through a lot <laughs> especially when it comes to the webcomic because I don't know what people are gonna think but I don't want to create the webcomic for people I want to create it for myself because that's what I want to do and I will do it um, but yeah, I want to know what peop what motivates people who watch my YouTube channel. Wh why are you studying art in the first place? Um, is it for digital art? Is it for semi-realistic rendering? Is it for becoming a comic book artist? I don't know. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know what people think. But yeah, <clears throat> that's kind of why this drawing, today's drawing sort of ended up <laughs> with three people in it rather than two uh, I kind of found it boring to have only two people in in the in the drawing, so I added my um, sketch that I did the other day, and added him to the storyline. But yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for listening to me mumble. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to my thoughts, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I will see you guys in the next video and thank you for everybody that subscribed thank you for everybody that's been commenting people that have been DMing me on Instagram and all of that um, yeah that is all for today's video I'll see you guys in the next one have a great day everybody bye bye